Here's an overview of the teachings found in Matthew chapter 21 verse 23 through chapter 24 through 51. The authority of Jesus questioned, Mark 11 verses 27 to 33, Luke 20 verses 1 to 8, Matthew 21 verses 23 to 27. The religious leaders questioned Jesus' authority, seeking to trap or discredit him. The parable of the two sons, Matthew 21 verses 28 to 32. Jesus tells a parable illustrating the importance of genuine obedience over mere lip service. The parable of the tenants, Mark 12 verses 1 to 12, Luke 20 verses 9 to 19. Matthew 21 verses 33 to 46 Jesus tells a parable symbolizing the rejection of God's messengers and his own impending rejection and death. The parable of the wedding banquet, Matthew 22 verses 1 to 14 Jesus tells a parable about the kingdom of heaven being open to all, but some refuse the invitation. Paying the imperial tax to Caesar, Mark 12 verses 13 to 17. Luke 20 verses 20 to 26. Matthew 22 verses 15 to 22 Pharisees and Herodians attempt to entrap Jesus regarding paying taxes to Caesar, to which Jesus responds wisely. Marriage at the Resurrection, Mark 12 verses 18 to 27. Luke 20 verses 27 to 40. Matthew 22 verses 23 to 33 Sadducees pose a hypothetical question about marriage in the afterlife, challenging Jesus' belief in the resurrection, to which Jesus affirms the reality of the resurrection. The Greatest Commandment Matthew 22 verses 34 to 40 Jesus summarizes the essence of the law by emphasizing love for God and neighbor as the greatest commandments. Whose son is the Messiah? Matthew 22 verses 41 to 46 Jesus questions the Pharisees about the identity of the Messiah, revealing his own divine nature. A warning against hypocrisy, Mark 12 verses 38 to 40, Luke 20 verses 45 to 47. Matthew 23 verses 1 to 12 Jesus warns the crowd against the hypocrisy of the religious leaders, emphasizing humility and genuine righteousness. Seven woes on the teachers of the law and the Pharisees. Matthew 23 verses 13 to 36 Jesus delivers a scathing critique of the religious leaders, denouncing their hypocrisy and legalism. Jesus grieves over Jerusalem again. Matthew 23 verses 37 to 39 Jesus expresses sorrow over Jerusalem's rejection of him and foretells its destruction. The destruction of the temple and signs of the end times. Mark 13 verses 1 to 2. Luke 21 verses 5 to 6. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 22 Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple and elaborates on signs preceding the end times. Jesus tells about his return. Matthew 24 verses 23 to 35 Jesus speaks about his eventual return and the signs accompanying it. The day and hour unknown. Matthew 24 verses 36 to 51 Jesus emphasizes the uncertainty of the timing of his return and the need for readiness. These combined passages highlight the ongoing tension between Jesus and the religious authorities of his time, as well as the depth of his teachings on matters of faith, authority, and the kingdom of God. Tuesday the day of controversy and parables. Jesus evaded the traps set by the priests. The passages in Mark 11, 27 to 1337 and Luke 20, 1 21, 36 primarily cover the events leading up to Jesus' crucifixion, including his teachings in the temple and conflicts with religious leaders. Here's a summary of some of the controversies highlighted in these passages Authority of Jesus, Mark 11, verses 27 to 33. Luke 20 verses 1 to 8 The religious leaders, particularly the chief priests, scribes, and elders, question Jesus about his authority. They challenge him, seeking to trap him in his words or discredit him in front of the people. Jesus, in turn, responds with questions about John the Baptist's authority, which the leaders refuse to answer, fearing the crowd's reaction. Parable of the Tenants Mark 12 verses 1 to 12 Luke 20 verses 9 to 19 Jesus tells a parable about tenants in a vineyard who mistreat and kill the owner's servants, culminating in them killing the owner's son. This parable is interpreted as an allegory for the Jewish leaders rejecting the prophets sent by God and ultimately rejecting Jesus, the Son of God. Paying Taxes to Caesar Mark 12 verses 13 to 17 Luke 20 verses 20 to 26, the Pharisees and Herodians try to trap Jesus by asking whether it is lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not. Jesus responds with the famous phrase, 
Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's, indicating the importance of both civic duty and spiritual allegiance. Question about the resurrection, Mark 12 verses 18 to 27. Luke 20 verses 27 to 40 The Sadducees, who did not believe in the resurrection, pose a hypothetical question to Jesus about marriage and the afterlife. Jesus responds by affirming the reality of the resurrection and correcting their understanding of it, denouncing hypocrisy and greed. Mark 12 verses 38 to 40. Luke 20 verses 45 to 47 Jesus warns the crowd about the religious leaders' hypocrisy, denouncing their love for status, recognition, and exploitation of widows while maintaining an outward appearance of piety. Prophecy of the Destruction of the Temple, Mark 13 verses 1 to 2. Luke 21 verses 5 to 6 Jesus predicts the destruction of the Jerusalem Temple, which was a stunning statement given the Temple's central importance in Jewish religious life. This prophecy would later be fulfilled in 70 AD when the Romans destroyed the Temple. The conversations and interactions between Jesus and the religious authorities, as documented in the Gospels, played a significant role in the decision to crucify Jesus Christ. In conclusion, the conversations and conflicts between Jesus and the religious authorities led to his crucifixion due to the threat he posed to their religious authority, his rejection as the Messiah, political concerns, fear of losing control, and collaborative efforts to eliminate him. These factors culminated in the tragic event of Jesus' crucifixion, which ultimately played a central role in Christian theology as the sacrificial atonement for humanity's sins.